Butler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's been fascinating listening to the Leader of the House, and I can't help but think that he is not only gaslighting MPs, but gaslighting the whole country in his responses. Erskine May, Para 4.7, says that the Leader of the House is primarily responsible for the arrangements of government business. The Leader of the House has a general responsibility to safeguard the decencies and to ensure that business arrangements have regard for what is right and proper in the interests of the whole House. The leadership of the House is not a statutory office, nor is the Leader of the House formally appointed by the Crown. I do think, Mr Speaker, that the Leader is somewhat overreaching in his suggestion that he should decide who should debate in this House as a Member of Parliament. Current arrangements are not in the best interest of the House as a whole. And, and Mr Speaker, I love being in the House of Commons. I love debating. But actually, we are in a pandemic at the moment. And actually, COVID is asymptomatic. This place is full of it, whether you like it or not. We are putting 600 people at risk every time we are here. And my remote participation bill uh, could just be adopted by the government instead of being heard in, gen in January. I urge the leader to adopt the bill and meet with me and other members, like the member for Swansea West, to talk about how we can have proper participation and ensure that our democracy is safe and that we hold the government to account. Um, Mr Speaker, I'd reiterate the point that I made uh, earlier, that I'm always willing to meet honourable and right honourable members, um, in part because of what it says in Erskine Mayor about the responsibilities of the Leader of the House, which I'm well aware of. Um, and that is why I have made it so clear that I expect ministers to respond in a reasonably punctual way to members' um, letters and other communications, because it is important that this House is respected by the executive. That is absolutely fundamental. Um, I'm sorry if I gave the impression that I will decide who speaks in debate. I certainly don't do that. That is decided on a daily basis by Mr Speaker. But in any terms of um, reference for uh, changes, it will be decided by a motion that has to be passed by the House. And this is a matter for the House to decide, as it, as it will do. Um, the Leader of the House does not have, nor would the Leader of the House, and certainly I wouldn't, want to have the ability to decide who speaks in debates. Uh, that is, as I say, a matter of the Speaker on a daily basis, and otherwise by motion of the House.